A story. A man fires a rifle for many years, and he goes to war. And afterward, he turns the rifle in at the armory, and he believes he's finished with the rifle. But no matter what else he might do with his hands, love a woman, build a house, change his son's diaper, his hands remember the rifle. Yeah. What's up, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, wherever I decide to post this. Today's video is extremely special. I'm excited. Actually, it's pretty impromptu. I got permission from my friends and their property to come out here and do some gunfire training with my dogs. And all the dogs that you're gonna see in today's video have never been exposed to gunfire. So I'm gonna show you the process that I use through successive approximation to get dogs used to gunfire. Let's go. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna tether the dogs out. We're gonna find a good spot, uh, approximately, say about a half a football field away. And then we're gonna introduce some, some slow burst of gunfire, or not burst, but single rounds of gunfire. And then uh, see how that goes and see the dog's response. We want a uh, calm response to the gunfire. And then we're through successive approximation, we're gonna inch the dog in and get her closer and closer to the gunfire. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with the full setup on how I do this, but I will come back to you as soon as I get everything set up. All right. So another key piece of advice when you're coming out here and you're tethering your dog out to different places, you need to do an environment check. Uh, I go out there with like a broom or something, start to disturb the grass. You wanna make sure that you're not putting your dog in a spot where there's a snake or any sort of wildlife that's gonna hurt your dog. You're not gonna put your dog in a ant pile or something like that while you're doing gunfire training. So you wanna stake out the environment, make sure it's safe, make sure the, the point at which you are tethering the dog is secure. So I'm gonna let you guys know we are using live ammunition. When you use live ammunition, make sure that you know your backdrop, you know what's behind it. You plan for your rounds to go beyond your backdrop. Make sure that you're keeping an eye on your dog at all locations and that your dog's not able to get free um, and uh, keep, keep cognizant of everything around you. Right. So we need ear pro on. That's a must is ear pro. So we're gonna put these on and we're gonna go fucking blast some shit. So the beautiful thing about Texas is it's in the middle of January and it is fucking 80 degrees out here and I'm sweating balls. But I have something special for you guys. See this? Looks like an AR, but it's not. It's a 12 gauge shotgun. We're gonna have some fun with it. Uh, I got a little dog staked out over here. A little, little Astrid, see if you see her, Astrid. Say hi to the camera, you're all caught up like an idiot. To go save her. Let me go save her real quick. back my uh, sights fell off put the EOTech on sighted it in we're gonna blast some shit you ready I'm fucking ready
update. Okay. Good girl. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Come here. Good. Good. Good girl. Ready? Girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. So we got a little bit of a fear response, but that's to be expected. She's never had something that loud go off next to her. No barking, no nipping. She shied behind me a little bit, so we'll just keep her at a distance here. So I'm gonna go chain her back here again and do some more fire to get her used to it. All right. So as you can see, we got her right here. We're gonna multitask here. I'm gonna shoot the gun behind you. Astrid, stay. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Hi, Mama. Let you smell it. It's okay. Come here. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Just tell her it's okay. Good girl. Yeah. You're not scared. No, you're not. You're good. Good girl. Come. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. this shit yes you are you're fucking meant for it hold that yes hell yeah